Leslie from A Friend to Knit With. This is not a podcast. I am just popping on to let you know that I did film a little video uh, tutorial on how to sew these scrubbies together because I had so many questions on that and it is a little bit confusing. So if you just remember that you're going to set, take the cast on edge and take it up to the bind off edge. It gets a little tricky because it's on a slant, but you literally just fold it up and get those two to meet. And then it'll make like this tube. And you literally just run the yarn around the top of the tube, pull it through, do it on the other end, pull it back through, and it just cinches together and makes a really great circle. So if you're making gifts, then this is a great one also to make. It is a free pattern on, I'm not even sure if it's on Ravelry, but it is on the internet. So I will link the uh, pattern below. And I just use either the Red Heart Scrubby yarn from Joanne Fabrics or Hobby Lobby's yarn. They have a scrubby yarn. I'm not exactly sure their brand name, but it's the Hobby Lobby. So anyhow, I hope to get back to podcast next week and let you guys know what I've been up to because I do have some finished objects and I hope you do too. And if you're making gifts bigger than a scrubby for Christmas, then you are the bomb. And yeah, that's it. So stay safe, uh, stay busy, and I will see you soon. All right. Happy knitting. Take care. Bye. Hi friends. So I am going to show you guys how to sew these adorable scrubbies together. Lynn, after I showed these on one of my podcasts, asked if I would demonstrate how to sew them together. They are a little tricky. This is a free pattern over on Ravelry, I believe. If you just Google knit scrubbies, circular scrubbies, in round scrubbies, something like that, it will just pop up as a free pattern. So this is not my pattern. I am just gonna demonstrate how to sew it together. So this is how it ends up. And also my friend Nadine explained to me that you're supposed to hold two strands together, which I have not, I have never. They turn out fine with just one strand. So I don't know if I would bother with that. It will definitely make them a little fuller and with more substance, but the one strand is perfectly fine. So this is what the, after you sew it together, this is what it looks like. And you literally will take the cast on edge and sew it up to the bind off edge. So you just thread your needle and there is no wrong way here. You're just gonna go up to the bind off edge and start sewing these two together. Literally, if you could take the, the stitch, that's great, but I have found that even if I don't get the whole stitch, it works perfectly fine. So there are 18 stitches. So you should probably do this about 18 times. Give or take one in case you just skip over a stitch. All right, almost to the end of this row. And what you are going to end up with is a tube. So both ends will be open like that when you get over to the end. And now what you're gonna do is literally just run your yarn, let me get that off. I mean, run your needle through all of those little pearl bumps on the edge that you get when you're doing garter stitch. 
and close that circle together. I like to use the same piece of yarn, keep it threaded, and run it to the other end of the hole here. And now do the exact same thing on this edge. Oops. Almost through. Cinch that together. Pull it back up. Knot these two together. And then I just run them back through the center together. And cut it. And you are good to go. There you go, you have a scrubby and you're ready to wash dishes. But honestly, friends, they make great gifts. So hope that helps Lynn and anyone else that was a little confused with how to sew it together. Have a great day.